Hey you guys, it's Molly. I am um, working with some photo paper and I'm gonna be doing some more alcohol inks. Um, I've been playing around with these, I got them in the mail. I do not have my Yupo paper yet. Yupo paper is kind of like a plasticky paper um, that you can do watercolors and alcohol inks on, um, but you need the heavy, heavy Yupo paper. And I'm just using uh, photo paper here that I used to do, um, and I showed you guys that, but I used to do spray paint art uh, with this gloss paper that I would get from the store. So I've done a couple of them today. This was one, it's still got the, paper, the tape on it um, from earlier that I did. You know, just playing around with stuff, seeing what effects I can get. So I wanted to share it with you guys. So I'm using the Jacquard um, alcohol inks like I showed, and I'm using 91% isopropyl alcohol, and I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna lay down, I liked what happened before. I'm using my blow dryer, so you may hear it loud, and then I'm using a heat gun. So I'm gonna start in the center here with just some alcohol and spread that out. And then I'm gonna drop some pink in there. And a little bit more alcohol. And then I'm just gonna blow it around. So if you blow over, I'll tell you guys after in a second because I don't want to talk while I'm So what I did there is, because I, I don't want to talk while you guys are like, so what I did there to make this kind of wispy feeling, so I poured the alcohol out, then I poured the inks on there, I poured more alcohol, and I blew it with the blow dryer. Now what's cool about it is that after you come back through, you can re-dip alcohol and it will lighten the dye that's in there. Alcohol inks are a solution-based dye, so dye that is fully dissolved in solution. It's different from, and I've explained this before, it's different than um, acrylic inks because acrylic inks are pigments that are suspended in a type of solution. So these are fully dissolved. So I came back in and I made kind of that like wispy um, Feel that's there by just kind of blowing the alcohol back over to kind of dilute the pigments out. So I think what I want is for something to come down through there. I like that that side's kind of, so I think I'm going to go with my blue. So I'm going to pour a little bit of the alcohol out there and come down that way with the blue. With the blue. I'm going to blow it around first and then I'll dry it. You 
guys, I have no idea how to operate my uh, blow dryer, obviously. So this one's quieter, so I'll talk to you while I do it, but as you dry this, it's the different techniques that you use to move the ink on the paper that creates the different effects. So as it dries, if the ink is concentrated in an area, it will create little lines there, which is very cool. So I think I'm gonna do, this is like up just a little bit. I think what I'm gonna do Hopefully that stays down. Again, because I'm not using Yupa paper, this is definitely buckling. I think I'm gonna come through with purple right there. So I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go in with my purple. And I'm gonna blow that around. Now that's dry. So, so like here's a part that I don't really like right there. So what I'm gonna do is drop a little bit of alcohol on it and then blow it that way so that it becomes more wispy. This is just layer by layer. We're gonna keep going layer by layer. So I'm gonna drop a little bit of alcohol right there. A little bit of alcohol right there. And as you drop it on there, the alcohol will create these really cool effects. So I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of pink right there. Pink right there. Pink right there. Alcohol on top. And then blow this around and see what happens. my favorite one so far. There's just one spot right here that I'm not super liking. My last little bit of alcohol on that spot. I want it to stay right there and I'm gonna go in with some purple right there and just blow. Before that dries too much, I'm gonna come back in with just a little bit more alcohol. and get that right there to make that softer. There we go, I love this one. Move that off the edge. And then just one more place I wanna play with, which is right there. I wanna make that softer. So see, as soon as you put the alcohol ink on it, I mean, put the alcohol on it, it's gonna soften up those edges around there and you can blow it and do whatever you want with it. 
Blow it around, create that line right there. I'm just gonna dry that because I like that line right there. This is gonna dry a dark purple on the outside. Love it. I really like it. All right, so you guys make sure to tell me what you think. This is a new technique technique for me, but I said that we were gonna explore fluid art together, so here's me trying something new. Um, let me know if you like it. I might wait and do some embellishments on this, maybe some flowers, maybe like a nebula, come back through with maybe some gold through here with one of my gold paint pens. Um, but just let me know what you think. All right, thank you guys. Hey you guys, I'm back after it dried and I took the tape off, so obviously it bled a little bit but I'll just cut the edges off of this, I think. And it buckled a little, you can see up there at the top. Um, so again, I can't wait for my Yupo paper, but look at all of the different designs that occurred. See, there's a buckle right there. That is not gold, that is my camera, my lighting. But look at that, you guys. I think it's amazing. Look up there, all the different lines that I got. That's just from the motion of the way that I dried it. But there she is. This is like my fifth try at alcohol inks. Super excited with this one. All right, thank you guys, bye.